Nine surprises in this mystery box that is shaped like a can. What will we get? Yes, you saw right. We have a mystery box that is shaped like a can of cat canned food. And it is themed with a rainbow butterfly unicorn kitty. If they didn't just shove all the keywords of interesting creatures, I don't know what this is. It's a cat, it's a butterfly, it's a unicorn, and it's rainbow. Wow! And as you can see on the can, it does say there are nine surprises in every kitty can. I'm guessing this is because the myth of cats have nine lives. And this kitty unicorn butterfly rainbow, <laughs> I can't say it with a straight face. Is an absolutely adorable character. Now, mind you, this is based on a show that didn't do too well. I think it got like a rating of 4.9 stars on 10. But, 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 but. The reason I picked this up is because this is a pop out type surprise mystery box, which kind of reminds me of the birthday cake present mystery box that we did in a previous video. If you haven't watched that one, I highly recommend you watch it because it is a squishy mystery box. I'm not gonna say more than that, but it was absolutely phenomenal. And the Despite the absolutely horrendous rating on the show itself, this mystery box has an amazing rating of 4.2 stars on Amazon with over 1,600 reviews. 1,600 people thought this was phenomenal. And since this mystery box was only $5.74, I figured why not review it because sometimes things are too expensive and you don't always want to pay that price. I know I don't usually want to pay high prices, so let's see if this is any good or if it goes. In the trade! And the concept of this is that you have a can and it can extend upwards, kind of like a cat tower. Katie Editor, I'm sure you're enjoying this. Don't get any ideas for a bougie cat tower, okay? You will get a standard cat tower, but extra phenomenal cat treats, okay? And don't get sassy with me. Don't get sassy with me, Kitty Editor, no. And here we have a close-up of the can, and then more close-up of the actual figurine. I love the fact that I see over here an Egyptian theme that is my people. We have a pharaoh seat. <laughs> kind of cute. And then we have different characters. Now I don't know the characters of the show and I don't think that matters as long as the actual interactivity is fun. Again, similarly to the Care Bears unboxing that we did, if you want to watch that, I'll link it down below as well. Next here, again, they're showing us more. There seems to be stickers and decorations and more stickers and decorations with different characters. So it's going to be really interesting to see how this product fares, if it's squishy, if they're hard vinyl, if they're soft vinyl, what exactly are we expecting? But let me know in the comment section below, are you familiar with this show or not? Or what show did you grow up with as a little grain that you absolutely adore, but you're not sure if anyone remembers it? And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there to join us for live streams and the videos we put out every week. This is a sharp pointy thing and I'm waving it. You see that? It's just waving. It's not doing anything else. By the way, did you greens know I have my very own craft kit? And this kit is a bear pour acrylic paint kit. As you can see, you get tiny bears that you can turn either into keychains or put them on your bags or backpack while totally customizing them to your preferences. As you can see, Mariah Elizabeth and Hope Scope both had fun with these kits. I will link their videos down below so you can take a full watch. And you can either customize these bears with air dry clay or go straight into the acrylic pour part, which is obviously the fun part. And you can make so many different color combinations and even customize them with detail brushes that also come in the kit. This one really does have everything you need, including six mini bears, eight ready to pour vibrant color paints, silicone trays, spatulas, mixing cups, gloves, stirring sticks, and even a divider cup where you can put up to five different colors so they don't mix and match together. And a custom foldable metal rack that we made specifically for this kit so the bears can hang dry. And even a mat for your desk. A full list of everything inside will be on the website, but you can really customize these bears to however way you like, and it is so fun and it's really hard to stop. And especially now that we have a promotion for you for 10% off that is automatically applied. Did I mention you also get a sticker pack in there with nine to collect plus one holographic? And if you get the golden card, that is the golden ticket. And I will list the prizes that you can get with the golden ticket, including choosing my next vlog. Thank you again eternally for all the support you grades have been giving me. And I'm just excited to share this project with you. All right, so let's go ahead and move all of these to the side here and over there. Done. And the first thing we need to check is the instruction guide that is at the bottom of these. Now I did unwrap one of them, but all of them come wrapped up 
in this kind of plastic wrap and this is where it is and let's see what it tells us it says that we need to twist it to unlock it and it should pop right out and then we can open the bottom flap and it says not all of them are in all cans what does that mean? Does that mean even if we get a repetitive can, it's going to be different? I don't know. And it looks like some of them can be hung like this. And we don't get an indication of how many we can actually collect. It just says multiple styles to collect. How many? I don't know. Multiple. No answer. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and twist. Oh! Oh! Okay, interesting. Oh, okay. So the carpet already comes here. Let's get a different angle. And it does pop out a little bit. We get a kind of carpet. I don't know. Oh. Oh. She's not crazy. She just, she has a big heart. She's very warm. And then it says to open here. Now the question is, where does it, oh, oh, okay. Like so, this is way smaller than I expected. For some reason, I thought it would be much bigger. But it is like this, if that makes sense. This is the size. It's as big as my face. And I'm guessing this is the sticker sheet. Yes. Oh my goodness, we have more than just the stickers of the characters. We have a disco ball, we have some accessories, we have some hieroglyphics, not sure, that's a mantle. And then we have these generic type stickers that you can use when I was a teacher. I used to use them as, you know, for students on their papers. And then we have, oh, okay. All the surprises are kind of clumped up in two baggies. All right, so let's go ahead and open one of them. I don't know where the characters are yet. These look like really cute items. And the first item we see is an owl character with a little beanie. That's quite cute. Since I don't personally know the character names, we're going to have them on screen for you as I'm showing them. Next we have, oh my goodness, we have a mailbox. Does it open? No. That's a little on the disappointing side. So there is no interactive, interactive ability. Is this broken? Yes. Kind of. So we have a, wait, are you opening? No. Yes! It does open on one side, but this is absolutely minuscule. So we have the rainbow mailbox. And then, what are you? We have two sticks. I'm guessing it's going to be for one of the other items in here. What are you? This is a cat bed. Wait, is this supposed to go here? No, I don't know what this is yet, but we'll figure it out. I think it's a cat bed, part of a cat toy or a cat tree. We'll find that out. And then here is a bunch of parfait or sundaes. So three desserts on a plate. Interesting so far. All these, by the way, are hard plastics or hard vinyls. Yeah, definitely very tough material. So there's nothing squishy about them. Mind you, they did not advertise it that it was squishy. So let's see this next baggie. And the first item is we have a patch of grass with flowers. And you are, okay, so this is probably a pole with rope on it for cats to scratch on. We're getting a lot of cat items, so I'm curious. I really hope not all the items are gonna be the same. Here we have a clock. This is cute with the weather. And here we have, nice, okay, I like this. We have the Egyptian themed seat. You know what, this is probably belonging with this. Is that it? Aha! Uh -huh. So here it is. So we're gonna be able to put the swing up later. And then, oh, there's our character. Here we have, I believe this is Rainbow Kitty Unicorn Rainbow. I think this is the main character. Correct me if I'm- I'm free! You saw nothing! As I was saying, correct me if I'm wrong, kitty editor. But again, this character is a similar hard material as the Littlest Pet Shops. I love the facial expression on this character, but otherwise nothing else interesting. It does not move, it doesn't pivot. And then we have two other items. We have a staff, the kitty cat, and a ball of yarn. So let's see how we're gonna put this together. All right, so we do have a few things with a few different holes to go in different areas, I'm guessing. <laughs> Don't take me out of context. I mean, that's what she But I'm going to guess that this is going to go here. Um, yeah, that was actually a perfect fit. Okay, now the question is, where does this go? Obviously not like this. It has to go this way. Is there a hole? Oh, oh, I see you. I see you. Can we twist you? No, it's facing the side. So it's going to go like a so, right? Hello? 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 Oh, okay. 
So this was like that and nothing was going in. So when I pulled it a little higher, something got exposed. So I'm hoping this is what we need. Is this what we need? Or is that not what we need? That is not working. Okay, a little bit. That was a struggle bus. And now we have this little swing. Let's see what we have down here. All right, we have two little hooks that we can put in. Oh my God. This is actually really challenging to put together. <laughs> I'm an adult here and this is challenging for me. And it's way darker than I expected it to be. Does it even swing? No, it does not swing. And I'm going to guess this last one goes here. Okay, it's a little on the wonky side. And then we have the kitty cat with a ball of yarn. And the only other hole I see is this one. So I'm going to guess that this goes through here. Voila. Yeah, it does look like a cat tree. Mind you, it's so wonky. It's really hard to see. There you go. It's kind of a disaster. I could see why it's put on sale. And then we can put our characters. So we can put this here. I don't know where the clock is supposed to go. We have some drinks. We have our little owl and we have our kitty. I have to say I'm not impressed yet. And of course you can go ahead and put your stickers however we want, but I personally don't know if I want to spend that time. Whee! Okay, they don't stand. It's kind of like the Care Bear. I honestly think the idea is really cute, but the execution is just missing something. So apparently in order to put it away also, it should be easy storage. So you have to dismantle, oh gosh. <laughs> oh God. It's supposed to be easy. Company, I'm trying out here. Oh gosh, oh there you go. It's supposed to be easy. You're supposed to be able to close it and go, there you go. Oh shoot, and twist it. This is gonna pop open, isn't it? <laughs> there, okay. Let's move on. Honestly, despite the fact that people gave it an amazing rating on Amazon, I'm starting to have my doubts, but let's see the next box. And twist and open up. Okay, so far this is a little worrisome. The colors look similar to the previous one. Let's open you up and let's see our sticker. Oh gosh, I just tore it. Okay. Um, these stickers are the exact same ones. Hang on, come on, you could do it. And these stickers are the same ones. All right, let's move on. Oh boy, okay. This is the same thing we got and the same thing we got. So this is our first double. We just opened one, <laughs> we're already getting doubles. So let's put this back in. And shove you in and twist. Oh gosh, this is a mess. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Come on, company. It says multiple styles to collect. Don't do this to me. And twist. And you are, oh, okay. We have little butterflies as our carpet. Let's open you up. Wait, where do we open you? There we go. Let's see our sticker sheet. And we have, that's funny. <laughs> that's actually funny. We have a mouse art, a bird art. Why are they all roadkill? This one's cute. I like that. We have a window looking outside. We have scratch marks and a clock. And these ones are always the same stickers. I think the ones in the next section are always the same or am I wrong? Yeah, these ones will always be the same. So let's pull the surprises out. So let's get our first bag of surprises. I can already see some really cute stuff in there. And the first item that really caught my attention is a cute princess kitty bed. I love the cushion over here and the little kitty ears. Although I'm not sure why this part is sticking out. It actually is quite sharp. Next, what are you? We have another cushion of some sort. Looks like it might be an umbrella for something. And then we have a rainbow scratch post. I guess this is kind of like the branch that we got in the previous one, except this one is rainbow order. And then, okay, here we have a diamond glittery, and what are you? Is that a kit? Yeah, that's a kitty corn head. Glitter is everywhere though, but the good news is, it doesn't look like the glitter is coming off on our fingers, which is something we hate. Actually, no, that's not true. Some of the microplastics are coming out in your fingers, so be very careful with that. So these will go together. And then we have straps like a swing. Next surprise baggie. And the first thing is, 
we have another chip. My goodness, look at the glitter. That is really coming off. It didn't take much coercing for it to come out. Okay, so it looks like a cloud type chair. And I think we have our answer here. So this is going to be our swing. So let's go ahead and put these in here and this over here. Voila. So it is a cloud swing. And it looks like we have our character. And who are you, little one? This kitty has definitely rainbow unicorn, well, more unicorn type hair. Not sure what this character's name is, but like I said, we're gonna put them on the screen. Look at the little butterfly wings. How cute is that? And just to give you an idea of scale, here's my finger and here it is next to my finger. These are tiny. These are very, very small. And we're not sure what this is, but we'll figure it out when we see the rest of the surprises. Oh, is that another character? <gasps> Hello, you're kind of Anubis-ish. What is this character's name? It's definitely walking like a hieroglyph character. Okay, it's very, very stereotypy. When I was a little grain in elementary, people used to ask me, do all Egyptians walk this way when I was here in Canada? <laughs> all right, what else do we have? We have cupcakes. So this is a platter of cupcakes. Some of the paint job is not complete and some of it is leaking onto the other items. So we have cupcake. The other one we had drinks. And then we have a kitty themed TV. Okay, see, I thought this would go somewhere here, but no, where does this go? I would have loved to see samples of how each one looks or even a pamphlet of what you can get in these boxes because right now they didn't give us a preview of the items, nor the environments, nor what goes with what. So I'm going to guess that these go together. So far so good, but I don't know where this goes. My goodness, why do I have so much glitter on my fingers? Where does this go? Is this going under? Looks like it. Okay, we have a rainbow lightning. Sure. And we're going to put this here for the swing. Is this gonna swing? Look at that, this one actually swings. And then we can push you in here, right? Kind of, it's still iffy. I don't wanna push it because I feel like it's gonna fall. But so far it kind of looks like this. We can move, we can move this here, voila. We have our princess pillow with our princess kitty. <laughs> that is not okay, there you go. And this fell. Why did I know this was going to fall? This is not, this, this is not, <laughs> Help. Everything here is very delicate. It's kind of like my emotions. They're very delicate. Oh, nerd. Okay, let's put the TV here and the cupcakes up here and maybe our Anubis friend over there with the cupcakes. Can our Anubis friend stand? No. Can you stand? Oh, Anubis stood up. And then, yeah, I, I knew this was gonna fall. The diamond with the, oh gosh, this does not fit. Okay, got it. Diamond kitty corn kind of thing with all the, oh gosh, with all the glitter is gonna go here. I'm trying to like this. This is just not working out for itself. Someone be lying on Amazon. Y'all be lying on Amazon. <laughs> this is terrible so far. I would not even give it a two on 10. Maybe the later ones will be better. Let's open and see. <laughs> will this one be different? Really only one way to find out. And we should know immediately once we twist and open. Twist and open. And you are not looking good here. Let's double check just in case I'm wrong. And no, this is the exact same one with the flowers and the owl and the clock. Okay, not looking good. Nope, nope. And twist and open. What are you? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, uh-huh. It's another repeat. You're kidding me? Why? We have the Anubis thing again and the TV and the cloud. So these are repeats. Let's try our luck again. I'm really worried. How many varieties are we supposed to see? Let's go ahead and double check again. At least how many we see. So first things first, this is the Anubis one. That's one. This is the one with the with the, the swing, the, the Pharaoh swing. So that's two. There's at least a third one. We haven't seen this one with the cappuccino machine and the spaghetti, that's a spaghetti, I don't know. We haven't seen this one yet. So there is a third one at least, a fourth one. So there's at least four different ones. Where are they? Why do I only have two? Let's see what this one is. Twist and open and you are. Thank the gods, we have a different one. <laughs> okay, finally. 
my goodness. All right, let's get you standing. So the tiles here are a pink kind of watercolor looking type. Water look, water, watercolor looking type. Why can't I English at this time? And we open you up and let's see our stickers. We have some kind of cookie lava lamp. We have technology. We have a zipper, okay. We have some kind of rainbow juice and then a steampunk mask, I guess. Um, I don't know, this is kind of science-y, but okay. And then we have these characters here. Let's pull the surprises. And let's get on with baggie number one. And the first thing we're pulling out is, it looks like some kind of screen. So I think this theme is more science-ish. Next item is, what are you? <gasps> Look at this bunny thing. It has two different colored ears. No, wait, it has bunny ears and little ears. I'm not sure what's going on. It has four sets, four ears, two pairs. Something's going on here. <laughs> and it is tiny, super tiny. The facial expressions are great though. Next, oh, we have another character and oh my goodness, hello. It's funny cause this kitty doesn't look like a butterfly unicorn. This kitty kind of looks like a hamster. Really, really tiny, really cute. Love the colors. It's a little weird how the wings are put on there. It's very weird. And I don't know what this is. I don't think this is supposed to be there. Is it a Franken kitty? I don't know. I don't know. Y'all be lying on Amazon. I really can't believe this garbage has four stars. And here we have some kind of vinyl player. I don't know what they're called. Let me know in the comments what are these things called because I know they have a name. I just don't know their name. Is it a megaphone? It's not a megaphone. It's not a stenophone. I'm definitely mixing up my words here. And next item here is a cactus. So this looks like a little cactus environment. Okay. Second baggie with surprises. This is... What are you? That is a weird shape. What is this? Um, I'm guessing this is a version of their own canned mystery box, I guess. Okay, now the question is, does it go here? I think it does. Yeah, it's kind of like a decoration that goes at the front of the house. Okie dokie. Next, it looks like we have quite a bit of pieces. Let's pull all these out. And the first piece, oh, there we go, the cappuccino machine, the cat Pacino. It's a cat Pacino. I'm here all night. <laughs> yeah, so we have the cappuccino. This is what it looks like in the back. It's kind of empty. Does it even stand? Yes. And then, I'm not sure what this is. Why is this all wonky? The drink is wonky. Okay, here's the drink. We have a float and I don't think this is spaghetti, mama. I guess cat food with spaghetti sauce, maybe? If anyone knows what this is supposed to be, let me know, but I have no clue. Popcorn? No, it can't be popcorn. I don't know. Genuinely no clue what this is. And then we have kind of the same thing like we got in the other ones. We have a bit of a decoration that hangs. Kind of looks like scales. What are you? With a kitty cat. So these go together. Oh gosh. Things just don't seem to fit on this set. There you go. That is tough. Okay. And then we have, uh, maybe it's for the screen. Does this go on? Yes. Okay. So this is going to go like so. Okay. So it's a screen holder. Okay. Let's figure out how to put these together. And here you have it put all together. This product is definitely going in the trash. Let's actually put honest reviews on Amazon this time. All right, greats. If you want to watch more dumpster fire trashy products, Feel free to check here. Maybe it's not a trashy product. Maybe it's a good product. You never know. You gotta click on this video. And if you want something crafty, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you in the next video.